Now, the tail that we're looking at and the hindquarters that we're staring at is not that of Hosanna. Young Shongile was sitting, sunning herself on the termite mound just behind where we saw Hosanna. But you can see that Shongile has now climbed up a tree because the hyenas that I was telling you about, that David and I were chasing after, came back. They came bounding through the bushes. And there she goes, and she's going up higher now. And Hosanna sort of slunk away to back towards the termite mound where Shongile came from, and Shongile decided that she's not having any of this. She's going to go up the tree. She's a little bit nervous of them. And that's a very clever move on Shongile's part, because like I said, these leopards are young. They can hiss and growl all they like at a hyena. The hyena is going to laugh at them and snatch them up. They're not quite up there where Karula would be able to fend off of a hyena and, and sort of deter them. But these hyenas must be hanging around. They must have a kill somewhere around here, whether it's in a tree or a little bit of has dropped on the ground. Well, you never know. You know what Hosanna and... There we go. There's a hyena at the base of the tree just walking behind her. Now, we are on the, the cut line at the moment. There are a lot of vehicles here. We won't be able to stay for too long. We're going to try and stay for as long as we can. But you can see... Hos uh, Hosanna, I don't know where Hosanna is, he's hiding away now, but Shongile is definitely keeping a close eye. David, I'm going to go forward a little bit because I think I might be able to give you a slightly better view. Hurry, right, David, I want you to turn so we can get the aerial out of the way. There we go. Now, it's obviously, it's very, very difficult as she's sitting up in this tree to try and get a good view. Now I can see movement. It looks like the hyenas might be coming back again. David, where I'm looking is basically, you see, straight through this gap. If you go straight down there, they could, I think they're going to come back this side again. So if you just keep watching that side, that's where the hyenas are coming out. So the kill must be somewhere around there. But it's notorious for hyenas to follow leopards around. I can't see any more movement now, but they were there. They're definitely around there. And well, following a young leopard cub around, or these two young leopard cubs around, I don't think would be a, a bad idea, especially if mom had killed something for them and stashed it. Like I said, they get a bit clumsy with the carcasses still, and the chances of these hyenas scoring a meal because Hosanna or Shongile dropped the carcass to the ground, or maybe something like the intestines fell out, they would happily gobble up that meal. But typically, you see them following the adults around. And if Karula is here, she would not be very happy with the situation. She probably would have maybe tried to even chase some of the hyenas away, just because she'll ha she's got her cubs here, of course. Otherwise, leopards don't really mind hyenas too much. I've seen a number of occasions where big male leopards have been seen quite happily on the other end of the carcass, or their kill that they'd made, sharing it with hyenas. Sometimes, if you can't win, well, you just sort of, you just wait and you let the other animal join you. And it always amazes me how two predators like that, two apex predators, can come together and quite happily feed on a carcass with one another. But that's something special to see. That's not a, it is not a very common sight. You've got to be at the right place at the right time. And I suppose had that hyena uh, pasted a, a, that leopard for long enough that it felt the need that it needed to share its, its kill with everybody else. But this is so cool. I'm so happy we managed to find this. And I'm so happy that Shongile popped out too because it's been a long time uh, since we've seen the two of them uh, together. And I'm sure Hosan is safe. I wouldn't worry about him. He's a big boy now. He's learning the ropes. And I think he's just ducked behind a termite mound. It's quite difficult for us to see, unfortunately. But basically, he's just sitting just on the other side over there. But like I said, we're on a made road. There's lots of people, not, not even just coming to view the sighting. Lots of people coming up and down, of course. it can be quite busy so I don't know if we're going to be able to stay here for too much longer I think we'll only be able to stay here for a couple more minutes and hopefully Hosanna makes a return and comes back to his favorite termite mound 
And I wonder what happened to our tortoise, David. Do you think it turned itself back over? I also hope so. I also hope that the tortoise managed to recover after Wilsana de decided to throw it around a few times. But this is so cool. She's still watching carefully, so there's obviously something going on in in the distance. She's keeping a close eye, and, and this is the thing about winter, is that something could be happening a couple of, couple of feet away from you, but the grass is so long, the trees are so dense at this time of the year that it's almost impossible. I mean, look at what happened with Hosanna and the tortoise. We knew he was after something, and it was right in front of us. It was only probably about four foot away, but we couldn't see him because he was deciding to play in the long grass. Can listen, you can hear the hyena. Don't know if you heard that, but it was a very it wasn't a whooping, it was that sort of laughing noise that the hyenas make. Just off into the distance you can see where Shongile is looking. And they sound like they're getting a little bit excited. So I wonder if they stumbled upon the scraps that Hosana was feasting upon yesterday. But this is amazing. And it's good to see though that these leopards have learnt that hyenas are, are not fun and games to hang around and that you need to be cautious of them. So that's really cool. I don't know why, cool seems to be my word today. I don't know, I need to get out of that. 